Hi, now here we have an example on parametric differentiation which you might like to try. If you haven't tried it already, just pause the video, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So what we've got here is this figure, figure 2, it says shows the sketch of the curve C with parametric equations x equals root 3 times sine 2t and y equals 4 multiplied by the cosine squared of t. And t is in radians, it's greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to pi radians. And what we've got to do is show that dy by dx equals k root 3 tan 2t, where k is a constant to be determined. Okay, well, to do this, what we need to remember is a bit of background information very quickly, and that is that if you're trying to find dy by dx, then we use the chain rule. It's the same as dy by d something times the same d something by dx. And what we choose in this example is that that d something has got to be dt. So we just put that in as dt there, dt. As I say, it's like these cancel, okay, leaving us with dy by dx. Now there's another way of writing this and that is that we can say this is exactly the same as dy by dt all divided by dx by dt. It's the same thing. So this is the chain rule used in parametric differentiation. If you're unsure of this and want further examples just go on my website examsolutions.net there's plenty of tutorials on parametric differentiation. So we need to work out what dy by dt and dx by dt are. So we'll start with x first of all. Let's say we've got x, we'll put it down, x equals root 3 multiplied by the sine of 2t. And to differentiate this we would therefore have dx by dt equals and differentiating sine 2t would give us 2 times the cosine of 2t. Multiply the 2 with the root 3 and you get 2 root 3 cosine of 2t. Okay? Let's take y next. We've got y equals 4 cos squared t, so 4 cos squared t, and so therefore if we differentiate this with respect to t, dy by dt is going to equal, well we've got to think of this as 4 cos t, and the cos t is all squared, so if we use the chain rule here it's going to be 2 times the 4 which is going to give us 8, and then reduce the power on the cos t by 1, so that's cos t, and then we have to multiply that by the differential of cos t, which is going to be minus sine t. Okay, so let's tidy this up, we'll come down here, okay, and if we tidy that up we've got therefore dy by dt equals minus 8 Okay, cos t, sine t. And that means that we're in a position now to get dy by dx. Because dy by dx is equal to dy by dt divided by dx by dt. So it's going to be for dy by dt minus 8 cos t, sine t, and that's divided by dx by dt, which is 2 root 3 cos 2t. So 2 root 3 cos 2t. Now we've got to show that this can be written in this format. And I notice, first of all, that we've got tan 2t here. And I haven't got anything to do with tan at the moment. 
I'm working with the angle 2t, so that's a clue. And I know the identity that 2 cos t sine t is the same as sine 2t, an identity that you should be familiar with. So I can get to that by write, rewriting this, that minus 8 is minus 4 multiplied by 2 cos t sine t. Okay, and then that's all over 2 root 3 cos 2t. Now, I might as well cancel at this stage because that 2 goes into the minus 4 minus 2 times. But the point behind this step here was to think of rewriting 2 cos t sine t as sine 2t, an identity, as I say, that you should be familiar with. So what we've got at this stage is that therefore dy by dx equals this minus 2 here, minus 2, and then for this part, that is the sine of 2t, and we're now dividing that all by root 3 cos 2t, root 3 cos 2t. So when you get sine of an angle over cosine of the same angle, then that reduces to tan of that angle, tan of 2t in this case. So we've got minus 2 over root 3 multiplied by the tan of 2t. So we're starting to get to this format here, but we need a root 3 on the top here. So what we can do is multiply top and bottom by root 3, okay? Root 3 over root 3, same as multiplying effectively by 1. We're rationalizing, okay? So what does this give us? Well, minus 2 times root 3 is just going to be minus 2 root 3, and that will be multiplied by the tan of 2t. And then on the bottom here, we've got root 3 multiplied by root 3, which is 3. So we end up with minus 2 root 3 over 3, tan 2t. And you can see that this is identical then to k root 3 tan 2t. And we're asked to work out the value of k. k is a constant to be determined. And you can see that k must correspond to the minus 2 thirds. So we can say where k equals minus 2 thirds. All right.